Yeah. Hey, witch doctor, give us the magic words. You go ooh 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 ah ah, ting ting, wanna wanna ping ping. and welcome to the first virtual Walk to End Epilepsy. My name is Caroline Green and I'm one of this year's Fort Worth Walk to End Epilepsy Chairs. I have been part of the Epilepsy Foundation Texas family for almost six years now, serving in a board member capacity. Thank you so much for walking with us today, even though we can't be together physically. Before we get started, we would like to thank all of the sponsors. These companies have been incredibly supportive to help us continue with camps, clinics, and education programs throughout COVID-19. Thank you to our national sponsor, Greenwich Biosciences, state sponsor, UCB, Synovian, Sam's Club, Cook Children's Medical Center, Standard Meat Company, Isai, Norellis, SK Life Sciences, and Zogenics. Thank you so much to all of you. Throughout COVID-19, we have been able to continue with our program and services for you. The clinics have continued to treat patients across the state and summer camps have gone virtual. We have been able to continue providing support and train educators in seizure first aid. Thanks to you, we have raised almost $50,000 to help these programs continue. You are what makes this epilepsy community so special and we thank you so much for it. We're super excited to have you all with us to celebrate and help raise awareness from your home, your neighborhood, or wherever you're walking today. Please send us a message and let us know in our chat box. Today matters because over a lifetime, one in 26 people will be diagnosed with epilepsy and one in 10 people will have a seizure. That means everyone knows someone with epilepsy, even if they don't know it yet. 
We're not alone in the fight and we will overcome and continue to raise awareness. Now, I'd like to introduce you to the woman who brought us together today. I have known her for almost six years as both a leader and now a friend. She has been a fierce advocate for epilepsy for the past 38 years. Thank you for all that you have done and for all that you continue to do. It is my honor to introduce Donna Stallhut, the founder and CEO of the Epilepsy Foundation, Texas. What a great day to celebrate epilepsy in the state of Texas. For the first time ever, we are having a walk to end epilepsy that is happening in four major metropolitan areas all on the same day. And you are participating with us. Thank you so much. I am Donna Stallhead, the CEO of the Epilepsy Foundation of Texas. Many of you know that I started the Epilepsy Foundation in Houston with a phone in my kitchen because I have a son who had uncontrolled seizures. And during those days when we were struggling with this diagnosis, I flew to Dallas and met two amazing women. Betty Brown, the founder of the High Plains Epilepsy Association in Amarillo, started that organization because her son had died and drowned from a seizure. I also met a wonderful woman named Carmen Michael. Carmen had started the organization in the Dallas-Fort Worth area because she had a daughter with epilepsy and other neurological conditions. And I learned from them and worked with them. And over the course of these years, we all came together to form the Epilepsy Foundation of Texas. And you are part of that organization today. We have four major programs at the Epilepsy Foundation. Our camping program is the largest in the world for kids with epilepsy. And next week, we have all of our campers going on a virtual camping experience with us. Um, and many of our campers and their families are participating in this walk to end epilepsy today. Thank you. Next year is going to be a banner year for our camping programs as we celebrate the 30 year anniversary of the start of our camps which began in 1991 when 40 kids went off for a week of camp at no cost to them and their families. Now we serve over 300 some campers each year. And so join us next year for a banner year. Our education programs are known throughout the country for the quality of the education that we provide. What's been exciting to see is that our, our education programs and our support groups have gone virtual. Why that's been exciting is that I am seeing people from all over the country watching our, our education series. The big education impact we're having across the state of Texas is with Sam's Law. Sam's Law was passed by the Texas Legislature in 2019, and it requires that all Texas public school personnel be trained in seizure first aid and recognition, making our schools seizure safe for our kids with epilepsy. One of our walkers today was a, one of the leading advocates in that effort. Claudia Crennell and Amarillo um, was a big part in that along with Sherry Dudo, another volunteer who's walking with us in the fall in Tyler. Our medical clinics eight of them across the state of Texas serve 1,500 people with epilepsy who struggle to even put food on the table, let alone to provide the high quality medical care they receive in our clinics. And those clinic patients and their families are walking to support us today. Thank you for that effort. Thank you for supporting these clinic patients so that they can maintain seizure safety, maintain their employment, stay out of the emergency room, we salute you all for that. And then the big effort that we have is in research. You know, we're walking to end epilepsy, which has been one of the most underfunded medical conditions in the field of neurology ever. We need to stop that and we need to end it now. So thank you all for being part of that effort to lead the fight to end epilepsy now. We have all been impacted in some way by epilepsy. And today I pass the baton on so that you can hear the shared stories of what it is like to live with epilepsy. Thank you, have a great day.
Thank you, Donna, and thank you everyone who's joining us virtually today. If you don't know me, my name's Shannon. I'm with the Epilepsy Foundation here in Dallas. We do have a few people who would love to share their epilepsy journey with you. So let's give a big welcome to Casey and Jonathan Sable. Hey friends, we just wanted to share a little bit about our epilepsy journey with you today. Um, we first heard the word epilepsy when our son Jack was 14 months old. Um, he, when he was a baby, he had a febrile seizures. Um, we were told that he would, he would grow out of them um, by age five or six, and then it didn't have any um, connection with epilepsy. And then he got sick when he was two and a half and um, had eight seizures in a 32 hour period. So we ended up in the hospital and his last seizure was without fever. So that's the first time we heard the word epilepsy. Um, we were terrified. We didn't know anyone with epilepsy. We had no idea what this meant. Um, and that started our journey. And he, um, this is Jack. And this picture is, he's age five here. Um, so he lived with epilepsy until he was five years old. Um, we, the last year of his life, we were um, trying different medications and um, trying to get his seizures under control. We were logging his food and um, just trying to find a trend, but we could not find a trend and Jack lost his life to epilepsy uh, to suit up, sudden unexpected death in epilepsy on May 31st. 2017 um, and that is our journey with epilepsy we are here to help spread the word and um, just continue his story and let it let it live on and we're thankful for the epilepsy foundation the first time we we really did anything with the epilepsy foundation was april of 2017 <laughs> We did Sharon's Walk, which is a uh, bike ride walk uh, fundraiser, and uh, that was the first time that we had met anybody with the, the Epilepsy Foundation. And uh, after um, Jack's passing, um, there were donations made in his memory to the Epilepsy Foundation. So the foundation reached out to us and shared that so many people had, had donated in his memory. Uh, and we really started um, making personal connections with the uh, uh, group. Uh, so we started doing more events and we really uh, just have done everything we could to help raise awareness and funds for the group. Yeah, so um, this year I actually joined the board of the Epilepsy Foundation just because I feel um, called to help in some way. And this is one way that I can tangibly um, help and so um, we just want to do all that we can his journey may be over and he's not fighting epilepsy anymore but we just feel called to continue to sp spread awareness and um, bring awareness to epilepsy in general and to suit up um, because it's greatly affected our lives and uh, we're so thankful for the epilepsy foundation and the support that it's provided um, to us through our journey and um, the resources that um, they provide um, through our journey with epilepsy. And so we just wanna do all that we can. So here we are and we're walking for Jack. So go team Jack. Thank you, Casey and Jonathan for sharing your story with us. You guys are huge advocates for epilepsy and we're beyond grateful for you. Now, we're actually lucky enough to have two uh, representatives from some of our sponsoring organizations here to show their support for you. And with that, I'll turn it over to Alina Barton. Hello, everyone. My name is Alina Barton, and I'm honored to be speaking with you virtually today on behalf of Greenwich Biosciences and our entire team. As a nationwide presenting sponsor, Greenwich Biosciences is proud to partner with the Epilepsy Foundation and its affiliates for events like this across the country. We are united in what we're trying to accomplish here today, to raise epilepsy awareness and to have a positive effect on care, on research, and on the lives of those who are impacted by seizures. There are so many families who wake up every day to the reality of epilepsy. There are people listening right now who have been fighting against it their entire lives, and there are others who are not able to join us. But as a community, we never give up hope that one day we will overcome the challenges of living with this disease 
This is what drives us. You may know us best as the company researching and delivering FDA-approved cannabinoid medications to help address serious conditions, but also know that our focus is you. Patients and families are at the center of everything we do, and we strive to make a positive and meaningful difference in their lives, in your lives. We were all hoping this walk would go on as planned, but it's still wonderful to see the community come together, even during uncertainty in times like this, when it's so essential that we stay physically apart. But next year, we'll be back together, stronger than ever. Stay safe and strong and have a great virtual walk. Thanks, Alina. And now I'd like to introduce you to Lionel Austin. Good afternoon to all the participants of the Epilepsy Foundation of Texas, virtual walk to end epilepsy in Fort Worth. We are honored to share a few words of support with everyone participating today. My name is Lionel Austin and I work for UCB where our ambition is to transform the lives of people living with epilepsy. We are proud to support this event and participate alongside everyone today. However, our support does not end here. We are committed to advancing research to improve the lives of people living with epilepsy and finding solutions that help patients live at their ideal. One example is our UCB Epilepsy Scholarship. You can find more information at ucbepilepsyscholarship.com. This program offers educational scholarships to people living with epilepsy family members, and caregivers to help them fulfill their dreams. Since 2005, UCB has awarded over $2.4 million in scholarships to nearly 500 recipients who have applied their awards to undergraduate and graduate studies. Again, you can find more information at ucbepilepsyscholarship.com. Thank you for your participation, engagement, and voice. You refuse to let this disease get the best of you, and you are so inspired by your resilience. You continue wearing your purple, creating awareness and walking support of everyone impacted by epilepsy. For those living with epilepsy, keep your heads high and do not back down. We are here to celebrate and support you. Let's walk on. Now we have one more message from one of the Fort Worth Walk to End Epilepsy's biggest supporters. He'd love to share a story with you. So with that, let's hear from Marshall Young. Hey everybody, my name is Marshall Young. Um, I just wanted to um, get into uh, my fight with epilepsy, my continuous fight with epilepsy. Um, so about seven years ago, I was diagnosed and uh, it's been a pretty uphill battle for me um, as I, I'm continuing to have seizures to this day. Um, so really, you know, I'm having trust within my doctors and I've been to multiple doctors. Um, and I know this probably relates to a lot of you guys, um, just kind of the limitations that come with being diagnosed with epilepsy. Um, I definitely understand m multiple occasions, you know, social life can be affected. Um, when I had really one of my first seizures, big seizures, I was at Dallas Cowboys Stadium and I almost fell over the pillar in one of the skyboxes, which is very high up. Um, so it, it, somebody grabbed me luckily. Um, but it, you know, it can be very serious and, you know, I think not being able to drive, um, I don't, I haven't driven a car in, in years, so it's, it's definitely a weird feeling um, that I, I can completely uh, you know relate to and understand not being able to drive and always having someone with you and 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 never really getting that that ultimate just you know you're uh, like alone time. It's really helped me get through my journey um, and my fight through epilepsy is uh, really having trust and understanding with my doctors. Um, really, that means you know sometimes taking multiple multiple medications. I know that can be really hard sometimes. Um, one day you can have a good day, the next cannot be so hot. So really just getting through and, and having trust with your doctors is really the only way to get to, to, through that process. Um, so I think really having that and having a great um, support group is also very important. Um, my beautiful wife is behind the camera right now. Um, she's pretty much my rock and has helped me get through this whole system. It's really, um, can be grinding. Um, so having that good support group, whether it be your family, my parents, of course, my two sisters, my wife, um, anybody you can lean on has been fantastic. I've developed a couple friends through this whole uh, this whole process, and they've been fantastic as well. So so hearing other people's experiences, there's a bunch of other social media platforms you can um, definitely um, find other other friends and uh, develop great experiences um, with them. Um, so really just having a great support group, having patience um, through the whole process is what will get you through. So yeah, you know, that's that's been my journey. It's, I'm going to continue to have that same mindset through this journey, and you're not alone at all. 
Hello everyone, my name is Renee Wendland and I am one of the committee members for the Fort Worth Walk to End Epilepsy this year. I just wanna take a moment to say thank you to everyone involved with special thanks to Casey and Jonathan Sable and Marshall Young for sharing their stories with us. Your journey and your families inspire us and we are so appreciative of your continued effort to support our mission of stopping seizures, finding a cure and saving lives. Despite COVID-19, we managed to come together and celebrate and support one another, and we couldn't have done it alone. So thank you to our generous sponsors, national sponsor, Greenwich Biosciences, state sponsor, UCB Sonovian, and then sponsors, Sam's Club, Cook Children's Medical Center, Standard Meat Company, Azi, Norellis, SK Life Sciences, and Zogenics. These sponsors have all been a tremendous help and they kept our clinics going and they made today possible. So thank you so much. We also wanna thank our top fundraisers, our top teams, our families who submitted videos to inspire us and keep us going, um, our donors and our educators and advocates. As of today, 51,000 teachers and school personnel have been educated and trained in seizure first aid and 1,500 patients have had access to our clinics for care. Also, summer camps will go on, although in a virtual format. We couldn't have done it without all your efforts. We are accepting donations after the event, so please consider making a donation to Fort Worth Walk to End Epilepsy fundraise.org. And don't forget to post and show us your celebrations on social media at hashtag EFTX virtual walk. Please allow us to be part of your social media experience, share your stories, and also you can keep up to date on events happening in Epilepsy Foundation, Texas on social media. We will be sending out your t-shirts soon. Now I encourage you to get out there and walk. Walk on your treadmill, walk in your neighborhood, walk with your family and friends, take videos, pictures, post it on hashtag EFTX virtual walk. And we wanna hear from you. We wanna enjoy this with you since we can't see you in person this time. Before I leave, just one more thank you to everyone involved. We are in challenging times, but we are stronger together. We're stronger as an epilepsy community. We're stronger as individuals because we support one another. We're here for you. And I just hope that we all get to see each other very soon in person. Thank you.